Hi everyone and welcome back to Rules with Phil. We're on the 11th hole at Coombe Wood and one of the wonderful things about golf courses is the wildlife and the nature that we see. Unfortunately sometimes that can provide some complications when it comes down to actually playing golf. As we can see here my golf ball has come into the bunker on the right side of the 11th and I'm in a foxhole and now obviously I wouldn't be asked to play this shot. I'd make a right hole mess digging around in there and create some havoc all over the place. I'm entitled to a free drop. Now the thing to determine is just where that free drop is going to be. Now, although the golf ball came through the bunker, it's gone into a hole which is now actually beyond the boundary of the bunker. So the way we determine that is we look at where the edge of the sand finishes going into the bank of the bunker that determines the margin of this particular hazard. Now my golf ball here has finished beyond that, so technically I'm not actually in the bunker. So I get a free drop, and it's a matter of going about the right procedure in order to establish the correct position. Now if I look where that golf ball is and determine the point directly above it, that is now gonna become my reference point. So that's where the golf ball is placed. As you can see, well beyond the boundary of the bunker, I can retrieve the ball and I've got, I've got the flag stick over here. I can't of course go nearer the hole, that's the case in all these drops, but I've got a club length from that point going no nearer the hole. So this now defines the area within which I can drop the golf ball. As usual, we go for a knee height drop. Now there's a chance here the golf ball might move and roll back into the bunker once I drop it. If that's the case, I go through a second drop if the same thing happens again, then I place the ball within the defined area no nearer the hole where the golf ball contacted the ground on that last drop. So let's just drop the ball. We've got our area determined, knee high drop, and there it goes. So that would mean a redrop, again in the same position. If the same thing happens, then I'm entitled to place the ball if within that one club length i've got some interference from the edge of the bunker well that's hard luck i just got to go ahead and play the shot as best i can but it's a free drop you're entitled to come outside of the bunker because the golf ball went in beyond the actual edge of the hazard itself 